This is 1934 of Lafayette. Lafayette was made by Nash. It's a four-door sedan, a beautiful two-tone color here, maroon and gray. Happens to be for sale, too. Notice the vents there on the hood. They open both sides. And uh, later on in the video, the owner uh, came out and, well, actually his, uh, wasn't the owner, it was his uh, emissary, <laughs> opened the uh, hood on the other side so he got a look at the Flathead 6. There you see it was uh, licensed 2012, I believe. Beautiful interior. He also let me open the doors, as you'll see briefly here. Notice the trunk in the back with the spare attached to it. Inside, a beautiful upholstery. You notice the assist straps there in the back. This is really a luxury type vehicle. Wood grain there on the uh, window sills. There's the central speedometer surrounded by gauges. And the emergency brakes on the left. And the owner showed me that uh, when you apply it, the brake pedal goes down. So it actually actuates the, uh, the brakes themselves. And you notice it has but one wiper. And, of course, the ever-present and ever-popular uh, spotlight. Now, here's the door open, so you see a little bit more of the interior. Notice the nice upholstery there on the door, too. Now, we move towards the back of the car and check out that... Uh, on the artillery wheels, you notice those with the wide white walls. And uh, we have a trunk which was just coming in. Trunks, uh, separate trunks were just coming in at this point. With a spare attached. And notice how the bumper is V'd out so it uh, clears that uh, spare. Two brake lights. And we're going to go around and see the other side. Going to uh, open the uh, back door here in a minute. And, uh, can see the engine a little bit there, but in a minute we're going to get a better view. All right, here's the uh, front door open. And that wasn't the back door was open; it was the front door. And now we have the engine exposed. 218 cubic inch uh, flathead 6. And that's the old bath air cleaner. And this is very interesting. The body is made by Seaman Body Corporation, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, I don't know whether this was common practice, whether this is a special order car that had a special body. I have a feeling that may be the case. Well, it's a very interesting car.